at the end of um, of having, uh, I want to take my want to take a cell phone number with me. Okay. Um, I wonder what the procedure is. I, I understand there's some kind of 30 day period during which you mm-hmm. you um, don't have use of the phone, but you have to pay for it. Yes, I'll tell you how it works. Okay, whenever you are you canceling your account. Mm-hmm. At any point in time, whenever you cancel, it's always 30 days notice that's required to cancel. Right. Okay? Now, what you could do is sometimes if you're taking your number, if you just take your number across because it's your number, so you, when you take it to the other provider, they send us a formal request to get your number ported out and we release it off. So what happens in that situation, your third party or your other provider, when he's requesting a formal request to get the number ported out, that means the account is going to get canceled and it's 30 days notice applicable from that date. However, otherwise what you can do is if you want to cancel and take your number across, what I would recommend you is you call us and you tell us that I want to cancel my account with Bell. However, I want to port my number. So what we do is we set up a cancellation in such a way we put a notification for your 30 days notice from the date that you call and mm-hmm. from the date that you call, 30 days after that you port your number across so that you can use your service with Bell for those 30 days Okay. and you're paying two people at the same time. Oh, so there is a way to do it. Oh, yeah, but you have to call us and you tell us that I want to cancel my line with Bell. Okay. But I want to take my number, so then what we do is we'll just put in your notification because you're, in, you're notifying us that you're giving your 30 days notice, but you're taking your number across. So we just set the cancellation in a different way. We put in your notification mm-hmm. that you're taking your number across. So 30 days after the day that you give us the notification, okay. if you take your number across, then your line gets canceled and you don't pay for an extra 30 days. So you end up paying only one provider at one point of time. Okay. Um, I've spoken to four different customer service reps, and you're the first one that knows the correct procedure. Um, Are you recently trained? Do you mind me asking if you've been there a long time or a short time? No, no, I've been there for a long time, but uh, it's standard. Like, everybody knows the procedure. No, you're the – like I say, I've asked that specific question uh, in the last couple of weeks to four different customer service reps at this same telephone number, and and even one was in French. and and each of the other three stated categorically that um, the only way to do it was to have the new supplier do the port, and then for 30 days after that, you're charged and the phone doesn't work. In fact, I said to the one fellow, uh, was it Paul? Um, I said, so it's like a fee for, for porting the number over, and he said yes. No, no, it's not a fee. It's basically whenever you cancel. One option is... When you call in and you cancel, mm-hmm. what you do is you put your cancellation request and we cancel the line after 30 days. Mm-hmm. Second procedure is you cancel, but you want to take your number across. So these are two different things, but end of the day are canceled. So whenever you cancel, 30 days notice is applicable. But if you call us and you tell us and you yeah. give your 30 days Oh, no, I've heard, I, I hear you, and I, I like that idea. Is, is there a, a place on my, my account that that gets ticked or something? Is there a field that you... Yeah. Uh, no, really, when you call and you give us notification, we just do a setup on the account that the customer has notified that uh-huh. he wishes to cancel the account, but he wants to take his number across. So okay. when you notify us, we just do, we don't really cancel the line because yeah. if you cancel the line, you cannot take the number, but exactly. we put in your notification. So what we do is when we put in a notification, we put in a notification in such a way that it, it stays on the account for 60 days because sometimes customer may not exactly take his number at the end of 30 days. It could be right. 40 days. There may be some things that he's caught up with and he cannot do it. So yeah. we leave it on the account for 60 days. So you have an extra 30 days window as well. Yeah. Just in case so that, you know, if you cross your 30 days, it's not that your line gets canceled or anything. But if you do not complete the process within 60 days, then the notification goes off from the account. Okay. So just, so, so if I, if I want 30 days from now, uh, to move my number, I could call you today and you could, you yeah. could notate my account that in 30, yes. I've given 30 days notice. Um, and on the 30th day, if I, if, uh, the new supplier poured the number over, mm-hmm. I would just have to pay for, from now for 30 days, but after the port, I wouldn't have to pay for any time period. No, you wouldn't pay as long as you serve the 30 days notice. Well, for example, you okay. call me and you tell me today yep. yeah, that I, you I, want to cancel. Uh, that's great. Um, when you put that in, is it just a note, like, like in the notes or comment section on the account, or is there actually uh, okay. a part of the system that handles that? It's just a part of the system that handles it. Oh, okay. So it's, it's built right system. in to handle that, that case. Yeah. 
In oh, business, excellent. Once I put in a notification, for example, once I put a notification, and instead of 30 days, you take your number after 10 days. So you okay. use the service with Bell for 10 days, and you still pay for another 20 days. So you don't pay the whole 30 days. Your obligation is to serve the notice only and only for 30 days. That's just, it's just that if you take the number right away, then you cannot have the service with Bell. You will have it with the other provider because your number can be active only with one provider at a time. But right. It's always but, what I recommend is call us and tell us. We'll put the notification and then you take your number across. Then take it take it across 30 days from now. From that date, yeah. And, and I wouldn't have to pay for anything beyond that 30 days? No. Okay. Nothing. As long as you're not in a contract, you're good. If you're in a contract, then there will be penalty applicable. But if yeah. there's no contract, no, there's absolutely month. nothing. Yeah, it's just month to month. Well, thank you. You've been very helpful. You're, like I say, you're the first person that's uh, got it right. I appreciate that very much. I'm really sorry about it. Then, so yeah. was not came to you, but yes, we do have a procedure in place. We okay. never... You, you don't you don't double charge our customers. So as long as you call us and you notify us, then well, you're fine. Well, but like I said, I, I talked to two people in the last half hour, and uh, they... They said exactly that they do charge for an, an extra 30 days overlap, and it's like a fee for porting out. You might just want to mention to your supervisor that that's I, happening. I, I will definitely take this as a okay. feedback. I will because that is wrong information. Thank you very I much. I for the inconvenience cost. Okay. So to just maybe check with your credit card company on the card that you paid. If you're not going to check in the mail, yep. it will show on your credit card. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. You have a great day. Okay. Same to you. Thank Bye-bye. you for your business as well. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.